Hello guys and welcome back to another Python tutorial. Um, in this video today, I'm going to show you how to automatically organize your downloads folder using Python. Um, this is actually a very simple process, and it actually um it can only be it can be done in only uh, 14 lines of code here. Um, that's excluding these comments in the white space. But yeah, all right. So um basically, I'm going to just walk through this code and explain everything. And by the end, end of it, you should have an understanding on how um, everything's going on. All right. So first up here, we're importing two libraries, OS and Shuttle. I'm still, I'm still not sure how to pronounce that, but I think it's Shuttle. Um, and up here, right here on this statement, we're saying path equals, and then here is the path name of our downloads um, directory. Right here. Um, we're creating a list variable and we're going to populate this list with um, each file name that's found in the download directory. Alright, so then this for loop is going to start traversing the file, every file in the directory. And so we, uh, we're going to say for file, e for file and list, um, name, comma, extension, or ext for short, equals os.path.splittext. And we're going to pass in file. And what this does is um, it splits every uh, file name from its extension. And then we're going to store the extension in this variable, um, ext variable. We're going to go est equals ext and then in brackets one colon. All right. So now we go to this if statement. Um, if ext equals equals um, empty quotes continue. So if it is directory, it forces the next iteration. And then right here, this if statement um, right here, if a uh, directory with the name extension exists, then it, it'll move the file in that directory. So um, if there's a folder called PNG and then there's a file called uh, dog PNG, um, this if statement will cover that and it'll take the pre-existing file, the picture, and it'll move it into the folder. Otherwise, um, if that's not the case, let's say the folder doesn't exist, it will create a it will create a folder matching the extension name with the um with this statement right here, and then it will move that that file into the directory with this statement right here. All right. So that's pretty much how you do it. And again, it's just fourteen lines of code, very uh, nice and simple. So now I'm going to um run this code and show you guys how it actually works. All right, so first, I'm gonna open my downloads folder. Um, as you can see, I have a bunch of loose Python scripts. So once I run this, um, I should be able to, I'll just exit that out. I should be able to um, have all those Python scripts in its own folder. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up my terminal start a Python yeah, and if you haven't already um, make sure you save this and make sure you know the location of where you save the script All right so mine's on the desktop so I'm actually gonna quit And then you can just run your script however you um, usually run your scripts. So just run that and it ran. So now if I go back to my um, my file explorer, go to downloads, and as you see, all the files have been cleaned up and put into put into their respective folder. All right, so it does work. So now, last thing we need to do is we need to um, we need to set it up where Windows will automatically um, execute the script every um, any given period of time, so like five minutes, ten minutes, so on and so forth. All right. So to do that, we are we are going to um, open up this application called Task Scheduler in Windows. And what we're going to do here 
first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to create a task on the right. We're going to give this a name. So I'm going to call this automation. Um, automation downloads, why not? All right. So now we want to go to actions. We go new. And we're going to um, this first field right here. We're going to um, fill in what the exact uh, location of our Python executable. And to find that, you want to go back to your terminal. And this time, you want to start up Python. <clears throat> and you go import sis. And then we go print sys.executable. And then Here's the exact address right here. So I want to um, highlight and copy. Um, hopefully I copied it. Let's see. And then go go back to task scheduler and paste. Okay, so I didn't copy it. All right. Um, one second. Right, so now the second field is where your um the name of your 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 script that you created. So mine is called automation that pi, and then lastly we're going to designate the exact folder it's in. So um, I'm gonna open up File Explorer, and this is on my desktop right here. So I just go up here, copy address. And then place that right there. So now all these uh, fields are filled in correctly. Just click OK. All right. So now you want to go to um, go to triggers and go new. And this is where you essentially configure when you want your script to run. All right. So um, I'm going to go to daily. I want this to run daily, and I can go down to events event settings and go repeat task every so now I can go repeat task every five minutes for the duration of a day so now every five minutes for the entire day it's going to it's going to run the script and that's going to happen every day because I have it set to daily right but this is very customizable and it's um also pretty intuitive so um it shouldn't be a problem configuring exactly you know when you want your script to run all right, so after that, you just push OK and push OK. All right, so now that's essentially how you do that. Um, and right here, uh, you can um, you can actually locate your your task and execute it right here. All right, so I'm gonna just go back to my downloads folder and take all these scripts. And I'm going to just paste them loosely. I might as well just delete this folder. And so now if I go back to task and right click the one we just created, we run. A window pops up and go back and there it is. So now every five minutes it will do exactly that. Alright, so this has been another video on how to um, organize your downloads folder.